Hello everyone and welcome to How I Fix the Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the DualShock 4 gamepad second revision to clean the button contacts and get rid of sticking. Why buttons stick and stop working? There are several reasons. Some liquid got on the gamepad or when you play your hands will accumulate near buttons and over time it get inside the gamepad on the button mechanism. In this video I take apart the gamepad that comes bundled with the PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro. How to understand which version of DualShock 4 in your case. DualShock 4 of the second version different from the first version, a liminal strip in the upper part of touchpad. If you have a gamepad of the first version, in the description under the video I leave link to disassemble DualShock 4 of the first version. To disassemble the PS4 gamepad you need only Philips screwdriver. Take a screwdriver and unscrew four screws on the back side of gamepad. Now you need to open the gamepad without damage the internal latches. Begin open case near the port for headset. If you try to open with the plastic tool, it's not a fact that it will work. In my case the plastic mediator has broken. So I will use a metal pry tool. When you open the gamepad case slowly, as if shaking to the sides, lift the back cover up. If cover is removed, disconnect the cable from the board, lifting the cable up. As you can see, the internal latches of the gamepad housing have been preserved of the both sides. Now disconnect the battery cable from the main board and remove the battery. By the way, who need to replace the battery in the PS4 gamepad, I left link where to buy a new battery in the description under the video. Remove another screw and remove the plastic panel from the main board. Now disconnect the touchpad cable from the main board. If you need to remove the main board of the gamepad, just slide the two plastic latches and the board can be easily removed. But in our case, the board does not need to change it or clean it, so I remove the main panel by lifting it up. Now we go to the buttons. I take a cotton swab and wipe these black contacts from dirt. I do not recommend to use any alcohol-based liquids because you can erase a special coating on these contacts, which obviously will not restore the buttons to work. Now move to removing the triggers and cleaning the contacts under them. Trigger L1 and R1 are removed by lifting the buttons up. As you can see, there is nothing difficult. By the way, if you need to change the sticks, just lift it up and change. 
now the PS4 gamepad clean it and we can begin to assemble gamepad. First install the triggers. Connect the cable to mainboard and you can close the gamepad case and fasten for screws. Now you can check the gamepad if the diode flash is blue. Uh, then you can connect the gamepad to the PS4 and check cleaning result of DualShock. By the way, if you need to clean dust and replace thermal grease on your PS4, I leave link to step-by-step -step manuals in the description under the video. Good luck!